What's up, everybody? I thought I'd do a review of something a little different today. This is going to be something of interest to the Stanley Works and Stanley Tool collectors out there uh, that collect not just the tools, but also, you know, the Stanley merchandise and memorabilia and things like that that they put out for collectors over the years. Obviously, Stanley Works is now owned by Black & Decker, but back in the day, back in the 90s, my father worked for them as a, a quality inspector, and he was able to, you know, get some pretty cool stuff from from working there uh, batteries not included this is an, a talking clock okay you know i remember this thing from when i was a kid it was we had a we had one that we had used and then we had this one that my dad had set away and stored away so i, I figured i would do an unboxing and uh very carefully try not to wreck this vintage box with some shelfware but basically this is this is the little packaging that you'd get with it had some uh, styrofoam let's open this sucker up and see what we get this is a little cardboard lid and i'm guessing maybe it was a battery spot yeah i guess it was it looks like two batteries fit in there but they wrote batteries not included i think he bought this at the stanley store which was in new britain connecticut so he worked in new britain and then i think must have gotten this through the store somehow I'm not even sure. I, I can't be positive, but there's a little hole in the back. Pop this out. Brought these batteries so that we could test it. Make sure everything was legit. Because, I mean, when things are sitting, brand new or not, if things are sitting for such a long time, you never know what to expect. So it's it's a lever lock model tape measure. I still use one of these daily. I love it. You know, you squeeze the the bottom part and it you know releases the tape mechanism the retention um this here pops off this front part and you've got your controls alarm on off and stop uh, alarm set hour and minute controls when you uh, pop off this bottom panel here this is where you put the batteries in so as you can see this is minty fresh there's no corrosion or anything i don't i don't think this one was ever used I'd be calling this one you new open box. So we got some batteries in there. It's 12 a.m. This is a nice gift even for somebody who's visually impaired, who has a hard time seeing <laughs> their their, uh, their clocks. I mean, it, they, all they have to do is press the button and it just announces the time. I know my grandfather had one of these, and when his eyes started going bad in his old age, he loved this clock. But even still, just as a collectible, the fact that it looks like a tape measure and... They're never going to make these again, obviously. These are these are one-of-a-kind vintage uh, collectibles. Um, definitely a cool piece. This is a fun one. We've got other Stanley Works memorabilia. Just hold tight for one second, and I will show you what else we got here. Throw this back in the box, and I'm going to show you another piece of vintage 1990s retro uh, action. It's the 30-foot Stanley Power Lock Tape Measure cassette, or FM radio, okay? FM stereo radio. Let's give this thing a test and hope for the best this time. That Hopefully it runs on two AA batteries as well, because that's all I have. And uh, let's see if it actually works. Carioca, uh, Los Angeles. It's got a warranty. Wow, 90 days. Talk about guarantee there. And then we've got the tape measure radio type doohickey unit. All right, made in Hong Kong, just like the last piece. We've got the headphones, which a little bit of a little bit of foam, which hopefully is not deteriorated from sitting. 
Uh, everything looks like it's never even been taken out of the bag. These don't look used. This has just been stored. It's got a little bit of residue or something here, probably from the tape. But let's just uh, let's see if I can get the end of the plug out. Oh, I hate doing this. I hate opening things. But it's going to have to be done. Got to test it. So the, the print on it is a little soft. But hey, it's a it's an aftermarket, you know, toy copycat product. So I don't know what we're gonna expect here. But let's see. How do we open the battery compartment? I'm guessing it's along the bottom somewhere. Where the heck is it? Where do the batteries go? Do you use this thing? No. Is it behind the the belt clip? I mean obviously you're gonna need a belt clip, you know, just like you're going to want to carry around your tape measure. It's kind of smart. It's an FM radio with the belt clip, right? There's no instructions with this one, huh? Oh, yeah, they are. Here they come. Oh, important. This is a battery-operated radio. Conserve energy. Turn off the radio. No kidding. Wow. I guess people in Hong Kong think that we're that stupid as Americans, huh? <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's just funny sometimes when they put things, certain labels on products that are just so obvious and it's it's just gives me a laugh. Like the other day I saw a box and it was like, keep away from children. Yeah, this is a knife, okay? Caution, keep sharp things away from children. Okay. Parenting award goes to. This, um, this radio, let's see how dumb I am. Let's see how long it takes me to figure out where to put the batteries. It doesn't look like it, oh, there's a little pry slot right here, huh? There it is. Okay, so you just basically pinch a little bit of pressure right here on the bottom. And it looks like the case of this thing is, is like a hard plastic. So, we've got the slots here for the two AA batteries. Let's see if I can easily get this out without doing too much damage here. Here is... One, pop it in, here's the other, and we put it together back in its little spot. This is a really dumb design, but kind of rough around the edges, if you ask me. Let's see if it'll stay together once we put it all back. Because that's just like a little slot. See how this works? Just fits right together. There we go. And it looks like we got it. Alright, is it going to work? Good question. We got the volume. Here's something. The volume on max. See if we can tune the station here. I'm gonna have to put it up to my ear. I'm not so sure how good reception is gonna be. I'm not sure if I got this in AM or FM. S and M. S and M. That's a little weird. And then we got two. Oh, maybe there's dual volume switches. Maybe one for each ear. This doesn't make any sense at all. I'm going to put the headphones on for a second. Just to. Or not on, but a little closer to my ear. See what I can figure out here. Got it off. This must be F FM. Maybe the other switch was AM. Oh, stereo mono, duh. So you got stereo and you got mono. Yeah, it's working. A really bad song, but let's see. Is 
There we go. Alright, so it works. I'm not sure if the light is supposed to light up from the top. Yeah, it's working. I'm not sure if this side slide is, is anything different, but... Yeah, it must be left and right volume. Left ear, right ear. That doesn't make any sense why they do that, but hey, I guess some people want to have control over... It's working. Cool. So we have a working collectible radio. We got one more we want to check out. One more surprise. Put this all away later. But we've got another power winder model. Okay. So actually I'm going to have to take apart this other radio here real quick. Just to get the batteries out. So let's yank these gently. Delicately, okay. I'm gonna put that back to original, its original position, and then good to go. Now let's bust into the power winder. Let's see what we got. So similar type of packaging. A little larger. The power winder is kind of like a longer type of tape roll. What's going on with our camera here? Ain't nobody got time for video editing here, so you guys are getting what you're getting. This is also looking like it's pretty new in box, okay? So you got the original headphones, stereo headphones, and you got the power winder. Maybe this was opened once, I don't know. Let's see, there's a battery. Oh, that's easy. Nice little battery slot here. Okay, so you got... Does it say AA times 2 or times 3? Can't really see in there. Uh, boy. Yeah, I think it's just 2. So you pop one in, slide it down, pass it around, pop it in here. All right, all right. And then... What do we got? Another set of headphones, only difference is the pads on them are black instead of blue. Made in Taiwan, huh? Wow, getting fancy. So this is the Taiwanese model. Made in Japan? Oh, that's interesting. So the unit is made in Japan, but the headphones are made in Taiwan. So that's actually going to be a lot better. I have much higher hopes for this one. This one, I'm guessing, is... Ooh, it's a cassette deck. So you got a portable cassette player. And you probably have an FM radio. Or maybe this is just an FM. Just a cassette. Yeah, this is just cassette. Okay, so that's their whole lineup. There's a little bit of a residue starting in here. This one actually is made out of metal. So that might be a little bit of surface smudge starting up here after sitting. Unless that's just a sticker. But a little smudge there. Wipe that thing up. This thing's mint. Mirror finish on it. You can see my face. Ooh, hello. Hello. You Can you see that I'm filming with a crappy cell phone? Ooh, hello. Yeah, let's grab a tape. Let me grab a tape and let's see if this sucker works. All right, we got the Bee Gees. Don't get too excited here. Still waters. Let's pop this cassette in here and get back in touch with our vintage side the head reader is right here so you're gonna have to push down gently that's interesting sorry i didn't even get that on film so you get it right on that tab line up the holes Let's see if this thing works does it eat our tape what's your bet Let's see volume all the way up minimum maximum okay there's your volume dial on the side there's not too many other switches on this thing it's just volume play fast forward stop eject so you don't even have a rewind if you want to rewind you got to flip the tape over and then fast forward it so let's push play here your movement 
Oh yeah, we're there. This is probably copyrighted music, so we won't play that too much. And yeah, it works. That's awesome. So, like new in box. I don't know what's going to happen with these, if we're eventually going to throw them up on the eBay store, or if we're going to hang on to them for... No, let's just be real. We're not hanging on to them. We're in the we're in the mode of our lives where we just want to get rid of everything. I just I'm not nostalgic like I said at the be the onset. So let's uh, let's wrap this video up and let me know what you guys think of this stuff in the comment section. Is this stuff stupid or do you think this is like amazing stuff that you know only a Stanley collector would appreciate or do you think this is still cool? Um, if you appreciated this ramble of a video we appreciate your likes and your subscriptions if you like tabletop reviews of uh, pocket knives you know where to go have a great night bye bye